Yeah. Now look for it. Look where the top was and it pulled back and look where it just bounced off of. Look at your trailing stops. Look at those. This right here? Yeah, you see where okay, see the confluence that's up there? You've got your your EG yellow, you got your EG green, and then you had a you had a uh, trailing stop there, and then look what happened. You had a divergence fire right there on top of everything else, right there at the very top. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. There you go. See how it lines up with those bars going to the left? When you say, you don't want to top me, look left, look left. So I pay attention to those trailing stop bars, and that's what, when they start aligning with a bunch of stuff, that's where they go. And look where, uh, you know, and I, I bailed all the trade too quick, but look exactly how far it went down. It actually went past the EG indicator down there and went to the trailing stop, and went back and retested. And, yeah. and so these have been probably the EGs and that trailing stop and then learning the price action based off what you've taught me single-handedly are probably the three most important things, you know, bar none that I focus on to make sure I don't buy in the right place or the wrong places and stuff like that. I really uh, utilize these tools to their full extent because Sometimes in the middle of, you know, that dead zone, those trailing stops will kind of give you a, a little bit of an indicator of what might do if it's going to go up halfway in conjunction with the fibs. So I just kind of wondered because to me, it's such an essential tool that I found through y'all that literally changed my game. Nice. Works well. It works real well. That's the reason why, like, sometimes you're like, well, why, you know, I'm already plotting my stuff out. Is A lot of it's based on the all the EG and, you know, the, and the indicators and the levels, you know, it's pretty much mapping out where if it's going to go up. So when things are trying to reach and I'm like, okay, I need to, if I need to cost average out on one of these, cause I got inverted, I'm going to wait for it to take the cost average up to that trailing stop level before I, I do something in the middle and it keeps on going past to the trailing stop and then pulls back. That's just my two cents. And all this stuff has been learned in this, you know, in this room with these, indicators and uh it's really changed my game so I'm extremely grateful for uh what you guys have provided uh, thanks man appreciate that the comments thank you thank you Ryan. i've been babysitting the divergence bot today on two pay accounts how's that going andy i i hear good things about oh shit you put oh, there you go my bad Woo, beautiful look at that guys these are pas these are live, live accounts andy you know right i'm gonna tell you right right what i'm gonna tell you right now stop Right, you're done. Do not touch these accounts, man. Don't get greedy. That's good. I mean, unless it's a 250k account, but even then, just take that. If you, this is the thing I'm telling you guys. Concentrate on making this any, anywhere from two to four hundred every day. And, and guys, like it's that's all you need to do. Don't get greedy. But these accounts, Andy, are done. 